Hello? <coughs> Hello everybody. Today we are going to be setting up for... What the fuck? Who the hell is that? What is the meaning of this? Oh shit. You stay the fuck back from me, you piece of shit. How did you find my house? I want to know what I got in the way you had, and you posted your house on Twitter. You it was so hard to find. shit, get me back my cat. I should have known that it was you, such coward bitch who took my cat. I want to know what was in the world, you fuck. How many times must I say to you, you don't get shit. I know you are lying to me, you fuck. I will take you all the way to the night circuit that I must lie even if you want to win. Edward, I will fucking sue and take you all the if you want to fail. You I want to see the truth? truth. <laughs> <laughs> I give you the truth. What the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> that is it. Oh, I am going to sue. That I will get what is rightfully mine, I tell you. I forgot to load this thing. Ah, fuck you! You won't get nothing! I will send Sabina before you know it! Oh, and by the way, you're fucking It is more sucks. than you will ever accomplish, you pig! You can't even exercise your big fat cut! You can't even play the game yourself in the video! Hey, you have that shit is hard! I have our cousin from Burbank, Freno. He do it for me. You know why? Why? Because I pay him. I have money. I only have to do uh, the intro to the yeah, videos. Yeah, yeah. I will hear no more of this. I use my own hard-earned money and like you. You fat degenerate uh, ever. I will hear no more of this. I will see you soon. Yeah. Goodbye, you faggot. Piece of shit. Son of a bitch. You dumb motherfucker. Hello. I'm sorry about that. We can begin the video. We can start with the setup guide for Black Ops 3 with the map revelations. Please sit back and enjoy the video. Alright, so our goal is to uh, get that Pack-a-Punch back. And in order to do that, we have to turn on uh, four of these power grid type things. But as usual, I like to stay here in the starting area and get as many points as I can before I move on. Now, when I determine which way I'm going to go on this map, I like to go uh, the way that has Pack-a-Punch, which is this way. You can tell from the uh, green light in the sky. Um, usually by the end of uh, round one or round two, I like to go ahead and start on the first generator, or power grid, or whatever the hell you want to call it, which is right here. And you have to survive for a few seconds against uh, these demon things. The sooner you get these done, the better. And it will open up this uh, portal behind you. And you could go through there and go to the uh, Nocturne Totem section of the map. And Jug is that way. And the uh, way to Pack-a-Punch is also that way. But we're not going to do that quite yet because I still want to get a few more points. And I should be okay without Jug, but I do need to get a quick revive. Just in case I go down. Never thought about it. I wouldn't did I last have a solid meal. Damn it. That happens. Get our free 100 points from the perk machine. Board up some windows, get some additional points. CRK5 and replacement for my starting pistol.
right, so far so good with the points that we're obtaining. I'm gonna grab a gobble gum. We're gonna have to deal with the dog round. With these guys, you just kind of want to keep moving around like on Shadows of Evil. If you complete the uh, first few rounds quick like that, like, what was it, five rounds in five minutes, uh, there will be a uh, melee weapon available for you at the uh, Shangri-La portion of the map. I'll try to remember to point that out to you. It's pretty damn good. So good with points. Alright, so probably by the end of this round, I'm going to go ahead and exit this starting area. Here we go again. And we're going to make our way to the uh, Shanger La portion of the map. And then from there, we'll go through the uh, Der Eisendrock. And then we're going to get started on that next uh, part of the power grid. Because we're going to have to start buying other perks pretty soon. I should probably get a different gobble gum as well. I'm starting to get pretty damn overrun, so I'm just going to get out of here. So we're going to open up this gate here, and we're going to go to this launch pad. And here we go. Alright, now that we're here, I'm going to grab a free 100 points from this stamina machine. Then I'm going to continue on. I'm going to open up the staircase. And if you want that uh, melee weapon, it's actually uh, right here. Uh, we got nunchucks, so I'm going to swap this up for that. Uh, the mystery box is right here, so I'm going to clear out the area, and I'm going to give it a good spin. Because I need something to replace a Shiva. That's good, I'll take it. And we're going to come up this way since we're near the end of the round. We're going to open that up, and we're going to start on this part. But before I do that, I'm going to grab another gobble gum. Perfect. And I'm going to turn this on. And 
just like that, we've opened that up. I'm actually going to head through and buy Jug while I got enough points. All right, we're going to head up the stairs, clear the debris, and Jug is right there. Um, our goal is to get these other two turned on, and when that big giant alien comes around, uh, we're going to hit the button and he'll get trapped in the uh, Tesla coils. And that way we can go into his belly and free pack punch. Alright, to get back to the map, you could either go this way, which takes you back to the spawn area, or you could go this way, which takes you to Derizendrock. There's also two others that you could go through, but we're going to go through this way, because that's where we left off. Alright, we're going to make our way through Derizendrock. We're going to open this door here. Now we're in the Kino Der Toten area. But we're going to go past it, actually grab free 100 points, and we're actually going to get started on the uh, next uh, part of the power grid, which is over here in the uh, Varrot area. So you're going to want to go through this way, open this gate here, and let's get started. Again, the sooner you do all this, the better. Alright. So we got one more to go. And since we cleared up this area, we have uh, turned on Speed Cola. We could go ahead and grab that. And now we're going to head to the other side of the map. Because we got one more to do. So we're just going to run back to the spawn area. Now that we're back here at spawn, we're going to go ahead and open up the next part of the map, which will take us to the uh, Origins area, and it will also take us to the uh, Mob of the Dead area of the map. Now there's nothing really for over here for us right now. There is double tab. Uh, we need to turn on that last part of the generator, or whatever the hell you want to call it, power grid. But I need to clear up a few zombies before I get started on it. I don't want to be completely overwhelmed. Well, shit. Smells like Christmas. Well, I didn't mean to do that, so we're going to have to survive another round. Near the end of that round, we'll go ahead and uh, work on that generator for the uh, power grid.
pretty much done with this round. Go down in here into the tunnel system. And you should pop out here at the Mob of the Dead area of the map. Go down these stairs. Hang a right. And here it is. And just like that, we are done. So we're going to head to the Nocturne Tone section of the map. And uh, we're going to head up the stairs and we're going to wait for that big giant space worm alien dude to uh, come over here, which is right now. We're going to hit F. And this area should open up right here. I'm going to try to keep the zombie alive. Alright, now you're going to come down here and you're going to let him uh, grab you butt with one of his tongues. Alright, pack a punch is up there. But to get it down, you have to shoot these uh, yellow kind of weird stomach parts. And there's three of them. And it should at least down just like that. And we're going to pack a punch our gun. Perfect. And when we're ready to go back, we can choose one of these four portals to go through. But be careful, because they will kind of suck you in. So we're going to go back through this way. This should take us back to the Duraisen Drive section. And yeah, just like that, we have pretty much done the basic setup for this map. Uh, and if you want to go back, you could go back at any time to the uh, Pack-a-Punch area. You just got to let the uh, Space Worm do eat you. And then go back through one of those portals and go back here. Um, now I suggest that you just kind of keep moving. There's not really any good spawn, uh, I mean, uh, camping areas. Uh, you're, you're really better off just uh, training for the rest of the map. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for uh, watching, and uh, I'll see you for uh, Black Ops 4. All right, take care.